up you guys welcome back to my channel today's video is about plastic free july since i started my youtube channel i wanted to talk about plastic free july but to be honest i just wanted to share the tips that i have shared with you in the past on my blog but the reality of corona right now it just it changed everything and it kind of pissed me off at first but I have to say now, I had to get past it, I guess. And you know what? That made me figure out a few things that I wasn't really thinking about before. And now after doing my research and trying to find new tips for you that are applicable during this time, everything that we fought so hard for, we can fight right now, it's it's hard. So I found a few tips that are realistic for this time, which let's be honest, I don't think it's gonna end anytime soon. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we get some new tips that we can apply even during this time and of course in the future. Plastic Free July, I think it's just like a great challenge and a great way to bring awareness of like how much plastic we use really on our daily lives but i do really apply a plastic free mentality year round so i like to focus on it as well during july but um just know that these are tips that you don't need to do only in july but we're sharing them now because it's a big movement and i think it's great to get people going and maybe further down the road they think like oh this wasn't so hard so i'll just keep on doing it and i think that's just basically the whole point so after that intro i'm gonna give you some tips that i have really thought of and made some research so that we all can keep on doing a difference even during this time which is like really crazy and nobody wants to touch nobody else's stuff that sounds really pervy um yeah so it's like disposable everything and yeah we need to bring more awareness to that so i'm going to share let's see one two three four five six i'm gonna share six tips that we can apply during this time and hopefully this will be helpful to you and as i said we can continue on applying even after corona is over and we can live happily plastic free so the first thing i thought about that it's very relevant right now and it was relevant in the past but now so more than ever because restaurants are closed are regarding to go orders which is like basically I'm um, losing my mind you guys there's so many plastics so many empty containers like laying around on the street just pisses me off but um, my tips in regards to ordering to go because let's face it we are tired of cooking sometimes we just want to order in and not have to deal with cleaning the kitchen and all that I am all for that trust me some things that we can do when we order please ask for no cutlery and make sure they get it and they remember because let's be honest you're at home you can use your own cutlery those disposable ones don't even work as well you end up throwing them in the trash and it's just creates waste for something that you already have at home and works even better than those disposable ones so that's the first tip The second tip would be to order from places that have and use compostable packaging. So there's a lot of brands right now, they have compostable uh, containers to go and there's a lot of restaurants that are using them right now, but there's also a lot of restaurants that are not. I would say that it would be better to order food from those places that have that compostable packaging but i know there's sometimes like your favorite restaurant doesn't carry those and you still want to order from them and i don't blame you that would come up to the third tip 
talk to the owners, the managers, whoever leave a review on their website, on Google, on Yelp, on whatever, leave a review for those restaurants that you really, really like, but they don't have compostable packaging and just tell them like, hey, you know what? I love your food, but it would be even more awesome if your to-go containers will be compostable. I think that's something that's really important and and it's very much appreciated, especially now because as I said, a lot of people are getting tired. They just want to get some good food, don't want to make a mess in the kitchen like me. And I get that. So those are the tips in regards to ordering to go. And let's move on to the next category, which is shopping. And most importantly, like most important, like shopping for food, like in the supermarket. Uh, I was already on top of my game, bringing my reusable produce bags, my reusable shopping bags, and even my reusable plastic bags that I still have at home. And now it turns out like you can bring any of those because they might have virus and whatever. And I mean, right now, to be honest, I don't know. At this point, reading so much about it, I don't even know if it's, if it's such a big deal. But I mean, I'm not gonna get into it. But I was really pissed about it. But now, I mean, it is what it is. We just have to deal with it and i mean we can fight the system all we want but at some point we're going to need to get some food so the things that i thought about that i am going to do and share with you too is first of all okay we have to use plastic bags that's a given there's no way around it so we have to use new bags every time we go to the store so first of all Uh, what we can do with all those new plastic bags that we're getting is two things either we can just like store them and keep them for when we can go back to normal and we're able to bring them back and use them and i would just like reuse them until they are torn yeah until you can't use them anymore or if you don't want to use them just keep them on a box and store them in your house until the recycle bins that are at the entrance of the supermarkets are back there again and we can just recycle everything. It's just like a tiny sacrifice, I think, just to keep them at home in a box. Maybe you can keep it in your laundry room or your garage or something. You guys, this is just like a little side note. I had no idea because I don't do this because I didn't know. But doing my research for you guys, I found out that you can recycle, aside from plastic bags, you can recycle like the overwrap from toilet paper, bread bags, newspaper bags, and whatever films that come. Like for example, sometimes you buy books and they come overwrapped in plastic. That you can definitely recycle. So all of that you can just keep on a box, on a bag or whatever in your home until those recycle bins are back at the store. I'm so happy when I find tips like this that can be so helpful and honestly, I didn't know. This is something super important and we all need to be aware of that. And I got all this information from a website and I'm gonna link it down here that also shows you the locations of those recycling bins. Another thing that you can do while you're at the store is instead of buying stuff in plastic, just opt for cardboard, glass, or aluminum. So for example, pasta you can find in uh, cardboard boxes as well. So that's less plastic that you're purchasing and just throwing in the trash. You can always reuse the glass containers, which is so genius and the cardboard you can always recycle and that's more easily recycled or you can use for your compost bin if you have it so it's a win-win now this is something that i am so excited i had finally set the time to really research and learn how it works and that is TerraCycle. You guys, I don't know why this is not more famous because this is something super convenient and I'm gonna explain all about it and all of what I understood from the website. 
TerraCycle and a certain amount of brands partnered together and created this free recycling program. A lot of people purchase from them, so I think it's very useful for those people to know. And I'm gonna tell you some, but again, the link is gonna be down here for the whole list so that you can check and maybe you use one of these brands and you now can recycle them. So a cure, Arm & Hammer, Barilla, which is like the pasta ones, uh, Burt's Bees, Colgate, guys, toothbrushes. They recycle toothbrushes. Detergents like Tide, Ooh, I don't even know the other names. I'll put them in here, but there's a bunch of them and you can recycle with them. Uh, Febreze, Gerber, Galette, Go Go Squeeze, which is like the baby food that comes like in, in a little pouchy. Um, Herbal Essences, L'Occitane, uh, Living Proof, Willeda, Wellness Pet Food. Lola used to eat from that brand, it's very good. And EOS, EOS, the Lip Balms. These are only some of the brands. Again, there's so many more other brands that are working with them. And each of the brands has their own specific way of working through the program. So some of them, I remember like the detergent, um, you can just drop off those detergent bottles. I don't know if they need to be cleaned, I don't think so, but you can just drop them at specific locations around your city. Others, you sign up on TerraCycle, you fill out a form, they send you an envelope, you fill out that envelope with the empty packaging of that specific brand and they send you also with that envelope a prepaid label so you just close the envelope paste the prepaid label and send it through your usps and other brands they don't require you to use that specific envelope you can just send whatever box they send you a prepaid label and you can even get like TerraCycle points and you can use those for charitable donations to nonprofits and schools and i'm sorry if i'm talking way too fast but i get very excited and so that's basically how it works again the link to TerraCycle is down on the description so you can read more about it it's super clear you guys they have in there every single detail that you can think of and if not if you can find what you're looking for you can always contact them but everything that i had questions of i found on the website and clicking through each of the brands they have everything in there it's super super clear and aside from the free recycling program they also have what they call zero waste boxes and those you have to purchase and i think they send you the box you fill it out with uh, the products and there's different categories so you you pay whatever fee depending on what you want to recycle so for example there's one specific box for beauty products and you can send from any brand um, and they have a list in there of the things that you can send you can say like lip balm tubes mascara tubes eyeshadow cases shampoo bottles lotion bottles and they don't even need to be super clean just as long as they're not leaking that's fine you can send them so i think that's super convenient even for the lacy ones which i'm one of them but aside from the beauty product box there's i think for like kitchen things there's um many other boxes that you can purchase and just fill it out with whatever category i'm gonna put some here and again it's everything on the website the only thing i would say is that those zero waste boxes are kind of pricey but one thing i thought about is maybe um talking about it with my friends that live here and just us collectively buying a box and then just putting in everything in there and sending it over i think that's something that's really really helpful i have also seen some people that have um suggested their local co-ops or their local farmers market to purchase one of those boxes for them and then just the community collectively fills that box and then they send it over and they bring another one and that's basically how it works and i think that's just something that as a community we can do and that way we make sure that whatever things we have thrown away we can make sure they get recycled and they're not just lying around on a beach on like a river a lake or in the middle of the desert the mountains the forest I mean, I think it's our responsibility anyways because we are creating that trash. So just looking for a sustainable way to get rid of it is 
our obligation and I just think that TerraCycle made it so easy for us. One thing that I really have to emphasize is that TerraCycle has a zero waste box for personal protective equipment. There's one for disposable gloves. There's one for masks. So I think that's something that we really, really need to think about, especially now because there's people that are just like throwing them in the street. I have picked up so many, you guys, you have no idea and made sure they went in the trash can. Speaking of face masks, now it's not as hard to get an N95 mask, but it's also really hard to um, recycle if you don't have the TerraCycle box. One thing that we can do is just make our own face masks using fabric. That's gonna be easier. You can just wash them instead of like dispose of them. To be honest, I have an N95 mask, but I have been using the same one since this started. And I have a bunch in there just as an emergency, but I'm not using them. I'm just using the same one and it's all dirty and I don't care. I don't want to treat it as a disposable uh, face mask. I'm going to make some fabric ones and I'm even thinking of doing some to, even if you still want to use the N95 mask, um, you can use the fabric one as a lining and that makes it more durable because you can always like rewash the fabric one and you can clean like all that makeup and basically make them last longer. So that's something that we can all do. There's a lot of, a ton of tutorials. I'm gonna try to put some in here, link them below. And my last tip for today is, is ditch the shampoo bottle. I think I have talked about this in the past, but I'm telling you guys again, there's a lot of brands now that are doing clean shampoo bars if you're into clean beauty as I am. They're just as effective, if not more. To be honest, I think they last a long, long time. You don't need to use a lot. You're ditching the, the plastic bottle that you don't have to worry about recycling later. And the brands that do the shampoo bars usually tend to keep in mind that you're trying to reduce your waste. So they always come in compostable packaging paper, cardboard, all of that. I'm gonna leave again some brands down here. I was very skeptical to using shampoo bars at the beginning, but now I'll never go back. And shampoo bars, I'm telling you, they're amazing. My hair is looking, my hair is perfectly soft, perfectly manageable, all of that jazz. So you guys, that's it. I am exhausted, but I'm so happy I did this one and I was able to fit it during Plastic Free July. I hope you guys liked it. As always, I have prepared a blog post. I talk more in detail about the things that I just talked about here and in case you want to pin it or you want to keep it in mind, you can always go back to that or this video as a guide. And yeah, I hope you find these tips useful and please let me know what other things you're doing uh, to reduce your plastic during this time. And well, not only your plastic, but waste in general, especially during this time, because I know everyone's struggling. And I mean, there's too much going on right now and reducing our trash is like the last thing on our minds, but really we always need to stay on top of it. I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.